What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, the Fluffy Gamer, back for another day of Fluffy Finds. I only went to one place today. Can you guess where I went? I'm right outside. Yep. Good old book off. Did I find some good stuff in there? Picked up a couple DVDs. Went down the $2.50 aisle. Found four DVDs. Let's see what I got. First one that I got, brand new sealed, and I should be able to get eh, eight to nine bucks for it. I uh, paid $2.50 uh, for a brand new movie of Britain. Oh no, ha, screwed that all up. Battle of Britain, brand new sealed, paid $2.50. Next one that I found, this movie has actually gone down in price. I remember it being worth like 25 bucks a few years back. Now I'll be lucky to get nine to ten dollars. I know one sold recently for like 14, including shipping. So I only paid 250. It's a good movie. Uh, but I used to find these all the time, flip them, good flippers. But uh, that is a movie called Alaska. Yeah, pretty good movie. Dad gets lost in the uh, mountains and the kids go after to go and try and rescue him. Next one that I picked up, um, apparently they had marked a little bit higher. Usually when um, they have higher priced DVDs in there, they'll put the discs behind a counter in a CD folder. And then when you go to make the purchase, they'll pull the disc out of that folder and put it in your case. Um, this was in the $2.50 section. For whatever reason, they put $2.50 over the original tag. Um, this is like a $20 to $25 D uh, DVD. And, and this, star uh, this is starring Cuba Gooden Jr. and James Marshall in a movie called Gladiator. Yeah, I found this one at a thrift store a couple months back, and it's a quick flipper. I didn't bother to look at the disc. Oh, yeah. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right, and then the find of the day. I didn't know anything about this, but something told me to take a look. I'm a big fan of Jamie Lee Curtis, and apparently there was a movie... A TV movie that came out in the late 90s, I think 98, uh, starring some kid that was only in this movie and never did anything else. Uh, I can get like 60 bucks for this. <laughs> uh, it's a movie called Nicholas Gift. Extremely rare. You can find these on eBay Region 2 brand new for like 25 bucks, but if you want Region 1, last one sold for $63. Had a different, it's a different variant with a different cover. I don't see any uh, variants with this cover on there, so I don't know how rare this one is, but uh, I'll probably just put it at like $59.99 and it should sell. Disc is in really good condition. I always check before I purchase. Oh yeah, minty. Minty, minty, minty. Oh look, you can see book off. Good old book off. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is, a, this is the score of the day. $2.00. And 50 cent. Not bad. But anyways, that's going to do it for this day of Fluffy Finds. It is time to head out and do a little bit of this. That's right. I'm lifting again. It's too hard to resist because the bonuses that they're offering, I cannot resist. So I've been going out like once a week, you know, one day a week, you know, three weeks ago I went out, worked for like less than eight hours. I made over 500 bucks. And uh, last week I went out for uh, like two and a half hours and I made $222. Not bad. So I'm going to go out and drive a little bit tonight. It makes more change. <laughs> you need a lift? I'm your guy. What's up, everybody? Fluffy Gamer back here again for another Fluffy Fine video. Went out hunting, went to a bunch of places today. I scored a bunch of stuff. Today was a very productive day. First place that I hit up was a local Goodwill bookstore, and I found three items inside there. Uh, the first thing that I found, I, they were all video games, surprisingly. Um, I found The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Wish it was for the GameCube. But it was not. But I could still squeeze like 15, 20 bucks out of that. 
I paid four dollars. Not a bad find. Tis complete with Benuel. I used to have a GameCube version of that, but I sold that a couple years ago. That's a uh, pretty pricey these days. But I also found a couple sealed games. Uh, these are actually the same games, but one is for the Wii and the other is for the PlayStation. Uh, for $16.99, I should be able to get at least $30. Bucks. I picked up a brand new sealed copy of Nickelodeon's SpongeBob SquarePants, Nicktoon's Glob of Doom. Don't know anything about it. I've never seen this game before, but it is brand new. It's like the second release, so there's no like security tag on the top. But uh, yeah, I paid $16.99. She ought to get at least 30 bucks for that. And then this one, like I said, it's the same game, but this one is for the PlayStation 2. And I paid a little bit more. I paid $18.99 for that. There's only one available right now. And if you want it, the guy wants 75 bucks for it. I'll probably put this one at $49.99. Call me the undercutter. Again, brand new sealed. Second release, so no security tag on there. And uh, yeah. Not a bad find right there. Wish I could have got it for four bucks though. But uh, that's all I got over at the local Goodwill bookstore. Uh, I ended up hitting up a, another Goodwill around the corner and I picked up three items, uh, all movies. Uh, the first one that I picked up for three bucks, I picked up a movie called With Six, You Will Get Egg Roll. Never heard or seen it, but should be able to get like 10 bucks for that, plus shipping. Paid three dollars. And then I found another movie that I've never seen before. And uh, don't know anything about it. Uh, it's a movie called As Time Goes By. And I should be able to squeeze 10 bucks out of that. Paid $3. And then uh, pretty nice score. Picked up a uh, collector set. Normally I'm not a big fan of this director slash actor. Um, but I have seen some of his films. And I uh, found a box set of eight of his movies. Yeah, eight of his movies for I paid $9.99. Right, yeah. And uh, and that is the uh, Woody Allen collection. Woody Allen with all those movies right there for 10 bucks. I could not pass up. I'm gonna get at least 30 to 50 bucks for this. People are asking like crazy amounts. If you look this up, the uh, Woody Allen uh, collection, people are asking like over a hundred bucks. Not selling. But uh, they are going for like 30 to 60 bucks sold. So um, hoping to get at least 30, uh, if not more. Pay 10 bucks. Not a bad find right there. All right. And uh, hit up again another Goodwill. And I scored three more, three more items. Uh, scored another video game. And I'm hoping to squeeze at least 15 to 20 bucks out of it. Paid $4 for a PlayStation 3 game called Ratchet. And Clank, Future Tools of Destruction. Never seen it before. Thought about keeping. I do like these games, but uh, if I can get 15 and 20, it's going to go up on the bay. Pay $4. Not bad. And I, I guess there's also a, a thing. Oh, it is complete. Disc is in great shape. But uh, I noticed all the ones that are available are the greatest hits. So apparently the black label version is pretty rare and uncommon. One sold for 60 bucks not too long ago. But I'm not sure if I can get that much. But uh, I'm going to try and get at least 20 Maybe I'll start it at 30 see what happens. But uh, yeah, not a bad find for 4 bucks. Uh, the next thing that I found over there is a uh, concert DVD. Don't know anything about this group, but they're called Follies. Got a bunch of music. And paid 3 bucks for it. Disc is in great shape. And I should get at least 10 bucks for that plus shipping. Not a problem. And then uh, the last thing I found at that Goodwill was a John Candy movie. I've seen this once before years ago. Pretty decent flick. I uh, should be able to get like 10 to 15 bucks. Probably closer to 10 bucks plus shipping. And then there's a movie called Canadian Bacon. Love John Candy. All right. And of course, the uh, last place that I hit up, which is my go-to, my little honey hole, as you guys know. Good old book off. Picked up several items. I uh, went through the uh, $2.50 section, and I found some pretty decent titles. Starting with Made to Order. Paid 250 
Should be able to get at least 10 bucks for that. Never seen that movie. And then uh, brand new seal, they picked up a biography uh, called Who Killed Tupac Shakur? Brand new sealed. Sealed. Should be able to get like 15 to 20 bucks for that. Kind of want to see it, but it's sealed, so probably not going to watch it. Going up on a bay. And then uh, this is the one I found several times before in the past and used to go for close to 20, but now it's more like 10 to 15. Uh, and that is a movie called Sorted Lives. Got a lot of famous actors in there, if I remember. Yeah. Never seen it, but I've sold several copies. Pay two fifty. And then uh, this one was actually behind the counter, and I saw it, and I still have one that has not sold yet. But I had to pick this one up for two fifty. Brand new sealed. Should be able to get at least twenty five bucks, twenty to twenty five. And that is a brand new sealed copy of the Two Towers. Yes, these are worth some money. Brand new sealed. Used, opened, and we're shit. But brand new sealed, worth a little bit of scratch. Going up on the bay. And then the last item that I found over there at the good old book off, I should be able to squeeze out another 20 bucks. Um, and I love this TV series. I used to watch it all the time back in the day. In fact, I just sold one a couple months ago. And I paid seven bucks for it, and that is the season two of Three's Company 2. Love this TV series. Used to watch it all the time back in the day. I still watch it nowadays on Pluto. Like, they got a channel specifically for this show. So if you ever get bored and you want to watch the Three's Company, go on Pluto. They got a, they got a channel just for Three's Company uh, episodes. But, uh, yeah, paid 7 bucks, Hoping to get at least 20 or more. But anyways, today was a pretty good day. That's all I got. Pretty nice day. Um, as you guys know... Um, or if I haven't told you guys yet, um, Storage Wars is coming back, and season 13 starts April 20th, April 20th, all new episodes, and if you watch the new season, you might see your boy in at least one episode that I did last Thursday, almost a week ago, and I got sunburned um, during the auction. And uh, I might be on a couple more. I don't know. But uh, for sure, you'll see me on at least one episode during the auction, during the bidding. You might see me bidding. Yep. Yep. But, uh, yeah, it was a cool day. Uh, let's see. Who was there for the day? Uh, Barry. No, Barry's not there. His buddy, uh, Kenny, was there. Kenny do it. Uh, hung out, you know, with him. He was cool. And uh, Daryl was there. Um, Bran no, Brandy wasn't there. Jared was there. And then also uh, Renee and Casey were there. So it was a good day. Uh, Dan and Laura were the auctioneers for the day. And uh, Daryl won most of the lockers. I don't know if they'll show all the lockers that he won. But um, he won several. And Renee, I think he got one locker. Don't know, what, don't know what anybody got because I didn't stay after the auction when they go through and excavate. But uh, can't wait to check it out. And uh, you guys should check it out too. Love me some Storage Wars. And I can't wait. So, uh that's going to do it for the day, and uh, I'll see you on another day. Fighting the system like a two-water day Robin Hood.